the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, is a worried man. The deputy president is worried because his boss, President Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta, is telling him indirectly that he's not going to support him in 2022. And the deputy president is also worried because from the look of things, the president is out to destroy him. Because in, the, in less than 72 hours, the president has done serious things to his deputy, William Samai Ruto. Number one, President Uru Kenyatta locked out his deputy from his official residence in Mombasa. And for those who've been following that incident, the deputy president was in Botswana on 23rd, went to Botswana on 23rd, and he came back early this year. Between that time up to today, the deputy president has not met with his boss. So he heard that the boss was in Mombasa. Yeye pia akajipeleka Mombasa. But the president did not meet him. Instead, the president ordered his staffs to remove his properties from the official residence. And the DP on that day was prepared to spend for the first time at that residence. So that's the first signal the president sent to his deputy. Number two, which happened yesterday, President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta finally sacked one of the key allies of the deputy president from cabinet, Mwangi Kiunjuri. Mwangi Kiunjuri remains and was one of the few allies of the deputy president remaining in the cabinet. Because the president had earlier on kicked out Rashid Mohammed. So the firing of Mwangi Kiunjuri from the cabinet is also significant. And that happened yesterday. And number three, which also happened yesterday, President Uhuru Mge Kenyatta kicked out the allies of the deputy president, William Samai Ruto, from attending presidential function in Nakuru County. The president kicked out the host member of parliament, Honorable David Gikaria, from attending his event. He also kicked out Susan Kihika, the senator, the host senator, from attending his function. And from those three incidences, it is clear that the president is out to finish his deputy. But, but just like I keep on saying on this platform, in politics, nothing just happened out of mere coincidence. Everything in politics is normally planned and well executed according to a script. And something tells me that the president, after kicking out Mwangi Kiunjuri, is now setting up a contest or a fight between himself and the deputy president William Samai Ruto in parliament. Because there's always this notion that there's always this notion that the deputy president enjoys the support of members of parliament. So the president is not taking the war to him because the two nominees, Betty Maina and Betty Maina and Mutai Kagwe must be vetted in parliament. So that contest is going to narrow down there. What I still don't know is whether the deputy president, William Samoy Ruto, is going to swallow that bait to oppose the nominees on the floor of the house. But from where I am, the president is well aware that his deputy has a lot of influence in parliament. And just like most of us 
also believe so. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm close to, to, to the president Fred, as well. Yes. William Ruto is a smart politician. Look at how he used the Tanga Tanga phrase for his own benefit. Mm -hmm. He's very smart. And uh, I remember that time we were, we were in Embo for the burial of the speaker's mother. And he told the people, mine is Kutanga Tanga Kufanya Kazi, what the president has directed me to do. This is a smart politician with networks. You call William Ruto, he'll pick your phone. One time I just tried. I called him and he picked my phone. Mm -hmm. So that personal touch that he has with the parliamentarians and why they called off this PG, because in the entire PG, both Senate and National Assembly, William Ruto has the majority. And maybe State House didn't want an embarrassment where the PG comes out with a resolution mm -hmm. that we are all of